The nature of this challenge is to explore augmented reality and virtual reality in ways that have probably never been done before, to really utilize them for John Lewis and working with startups to actually build solutions and applications that could provide customers with new ways to engage with products within the John Lewis assortment. With this challenge, we're really looking to revolutionize how customers engage with the brand. We really want to create a retail theater experience in store that is emotive, beneficial for the customer, and really provides new ways to shop. For this challenge, John Lewis will bring a huge range of possibilities for the startups, small companies, the inventors and entrepreneurs that really want to kind of showcase their, their product to John Lewis. We have a space like Room White, which is our innovation studio. We have online buying teams that really can provide insights and knowledge to how we design and how we manufacture products. Because that's a key part to, to the whole virtual reality experience. It has to be lifelike. Our customers have to really believe that this product is real and has a real representation in their home. As a partner, John Lewis will bring different facets to the competition for the startups, the inventors, the entrepreneurs that really want to bring to life this virtual reality and augmented reality challenge. We have an online team at John Lewis who is responsible for joinlewis.com, the application. We have a retail team who are responsible for our physical stores. We have a buying and brand team who are responsible for marketing, brand creative, the many different facets in terms of how the brand is, is received. So there's so many areas that we could actually collaborate with people in the business to get insight, to get feedback, to really kind of build that focus group that will add benefit to the people that are building these applications. Being part of the wider ecosystem for startups outside of John Lewis is vital for us in terms of how we get access to new ideas, new solutions, new products. And that for me is really the real benefit for being part of this challenge. It really gives us skill sets that we don't necessarily have access to internally and new ways of thinking. The types of solutions or applications that I'm looking forward to seeing are the ones that really take into account the ones that focus on the customer journey, a journey that starts at home and may end in store or starts in store and ends at home. It has to complement each other. You don't want the same experience at home and the same experience in store. There has to be a really nice journey. So my hints for the applicants that are taking part in this challenge are to, to really start with the customer. Almost forget the technology, just really focus on that end experience. How do you want the customer to feel, the user to feel, and then really work backwards? I think that's where you really add the benefit, is really designing for the customer. What we don't want to see is a solution that you can just kind of plug and play. You know, there has to be something that is bespoke, something emotive, something rich in content, something that is really beautiful to see and easy to use. It's so important to be part of this startup community and I'm a huge ambassador for how startups work. And so it's really important that we open the doors and enable people to actually learn from us as well as us learning from them.